In this recent research utilizing new technology, or I should say technology in a new way, researchers basically looked into life expectancy as far back as 1,500 years. And you may be quite surprised to recognize the fact that what we thought was the average life expectancy 1,500 years ago turned out to be nothing more than a myth. In fact, it's surprisingly so, we really haven't increased much in about 1,500 years itself. You'll understand more why in a second. In the research described as follows, redefining knowledge of elderly people throughout history. An archaeologist from the Australian National University is set to redefine what we know about elderly people and cultures throughout history and dispel the myth, their words, that most people didn't live much past 40 prior to modern medicine. It gets more intriguing as we go on. Using new technology to analyze the wear on teeth and comparing with living populations of comparable cultures, they examine the skeletal remains of three Anglo-Saxon English cemeteries for people buried between the years 475 and 625. We're not talking 475 or 625 years ago. We're talking the dates. People sometimes think that those days, if you lived to 40, that was about as good as it got. But that's not true. To emphasize this one particular part or this one particular paragraph, for people living traditional lives without modern medicine or markets, the most common age of death, according to the research, is about 70. And that is remarkably similar across all different cultures. Ms. Gave, the researcher, said the myth has been built upon the deficiencies in the way older people are categorized in archaeological studies. Older people have been very much ignored in the archaeological studies. The part of the reason for that is the inability to identify them. When you determine the age of children, you use uh, developmental points like tooth eruption or the fusion of bones that all happen at a certain age, according to the research. Once people are fully grown, it becomes increasingly difficult to determine their age from the skeletal remains. The older they get, the more difficult it is to determine their age, which is why most studies just have a highest age category of 40 or 45 due to limitations of the technology. So effectively, they did not distinguish between a fit and healthy 40-year-old and a frail 95-year-old, which was said in this case was meaningless when trying to study elderly people. So basically, it just ended up being through popular assumption that life expectancy must have been 40. In this case, according to the news research here, remember research has to be validated as well, they're saying 70 as far as 1,500 years ago. So if you think about it, the average life expectancy, about 475 or 625, talking to years, is about 70. Today it's about 79. Is that a lot of progress? Sanitation, modern medicine, according to them, didn't play much of a role. Food supply, your guess is as good as mine at this point because it's just a, a bias that we're applying to this researcher's work, or I should say publisher's bias per se. Again, this is Ralph Trichano signing off. Intriguing, intriguing study overturning a very, very popular and ingrained assumption. 70 years old, not uncommon, 1,500 years ago. Again, Ralph Trichano signing off. Thank you very much for listening. The OI citations all be listed there. If you want to research it on your own, it's all available. And thank you very much for listening, and I catch you all again in seven days. See you then. Bye.